Hey everyone, Jackie, Ricky, and Arcadia here with Enjoying Life's Journey. And welcome back to another fun Friday. If you watched last week's video, we talked about making our date jars. And so we are going to make them today, but we're actually going to make them a little different than I talked about. I had originally talked about doing different color popsicle sticks, but we are actually just going to make do with what we have at home. So we have different color construction paper, and we've just used jars that we have. So I'm going to use four baby jars for the girls. We're going to have four different types of dates, and one big jar for mine and Ricky's dates. And again, we're going to have four different types of dates. Actually, at the end of this video, we will show you our little camping in the backyard that we did. Depending on if you want three different types of dates or four different types of dates, basically have a different color, construction paper, or popsicle stick for your type of date. So the ones that we have for the girls, we're going to do family dates, just daddy-daughter dates, and then mommy-daughter dates and then dates with friends. So I'll give you a couple examples of what we're doing with those. And then for the adult jar, we're gonna do um, free or cheap dates that we can do at home. Free or cheap dates that we can do out and about. And then dates that cost money and involve some planning. And then fourth are dates with our friends. So having friend time. So originally I talked about three categories. I didn't have the friends in there, but we feel our friends are important in our life as well, so we want to make time for them. So that's what we're going to do. And we're just um, cutting them. Ricky and Arcadia are cutting them up into even strips. And then we will just use a marker or a pen, whatever we want to use to write out our dates. So he kind of folded it so he has his five so we can cut them. Fold it like this and use this on the, the small part here because that's the half side. Okay? Then you fold it like this. And you have your your five lines. And you already know how much where to cut your papers. So obviously you can do it however you want. If you want to make them long and skinny or all nice and even like we're doing. Or again, you can use popsicle sticks. You did it, yay! So kind of the way I came up with how many to do is I thought it'd be fun to try to do a date once a week. Um, whether it's, you know, with the whole family or just Ricky and I or whether the, the kids. Basically, since we're already in March, I didn't want to do 52 days because I didn't want to start the year in a weird spot so I went ahead and just thought we would do five dates for each category so 20 dates per jar so that gives us 40 dates um, up until the rest of this year and then next year we'll make new dates and also as the girls start to get older then we'll start doing um, separate dates where it's just a date with Arcadia or just a date with Elsa. But for now, it'll just be a, a group type date. All right, now we're going to write down our date ideas. So, which color, Arcadia, do you want to use for your family dates? I mean purple. Purple? Okay, so Daddy's going to write them down. So our first family date is bowling. Arcadia wants to go bowling. Oh, here you go. you got to write it on there. And they'll just fold it up. So the next one is to do a salt river picnic. Next one is a canyon lake. So a day at the lake. So this might give you guys ideas if you have lakes out by you or rivers out by you. Uh, our fourth one for the family dates is camping. And our last one is movie game night. Okay, so dates with dad. We're going to go on a day at the park. One jar done. And if you want to get fancy, you know, you can label it or something. I, I might label them. I'll let you know. I'll show you if I do or not. But for now, story time with dad. We have coloring and cooking. And last one for daddy-daughter time is the scooter or the bike. Pink or red? Uh, red. Red, okay. 
mommy daughter time. We also have a day at the park. And we have library time. And we have dress up. Be hair, makeup, nail polish, any kind of dress up she wants to do, they want to do. And we have tea party and games, like board games. And the last one for the girls is going to be the friend dates. And the first one's going to be the zoo. And then we have swimming because we have summer coming up. A scavenger hunt. The museum. So we can just pick which one. All right, last one is uh, some type of amusement park. For our at home dates. Purple? Okay. Okay, so we had movie night, um, backyard picnic. And then we have cuddle time. <laughs> we have walk around the neighborhood. And we have dinner at home. So these are all dates that we can do at home. Next one, we have uh, cheap or free dates that we can do around town. What color do we want to use? Orange? Okay. Yes, see my lawn already. All right, first one is motorcycle ride, um, hiking, and then miniature golf. So you can get creative with this. <laughs> And so here we have it, we have our four jars. And I just made it simple, I just wrote on a marker. She has her family dates, her dad dates, her mommy dates, and her friend dates. And then Ricky and I have all of ours in here. So each week we'll decide, uh, we'll do one date a week, wherever it comes from, for the rest of the year. So we'll uh, document those as we go. And stay tuned and um, I'll have some footage from last week's Camping in the Backyard. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Hey everyone, Jackie here with Enjoying Life's Journey. And Arcadia and I felt like camping in the backyard. And you can tell it's a little cloudy, it might rain, but you know what? The funnest time I've had in a tent was when it was raining. And you're, you sleep like a baby when it's raining in there. So we're probably not going to sleep in it tonight, but we're going to get it set up before my husband gets home and I'll have him run up to the store and get some firewood and we'll just do a little camp out in the backyard. See, we have our little fire pit already um, set up back here. So I just cleared a spot for the tent. And our tent is, this is our biggest one. It's the eight person tent and it's Ozark Trail is the brand. Uh, but it's really simple to set up. So, I'm gonna attempt to do it um, by myself. Okay, so it started raining. So I went ahead and put the, you know, the little cover over here so the rain doesn't get in the tent. But I am gonna need to wait for Ricky because I forgot how big this tent is. I totally forgot how big this tent is, but let me go inside before I get too rained on. But it's one of those like instant tents so you don't have to put the, t um, those poles through so it makes it easier but I do need this help as far as height and the weight of it to get it up there so um, it's 345 he gets off at 430 so I hope it doesn't rain too bad <laughs> on the tent but hey <laughs> whatever we're just going with it <laughs> all right so my husband made it home and he helped me set it up it's actually really simple with two people but it really can't be done with just one person but um, you can see how big it is. Like I said, it's like an eight person tent. And um, we've only used this one other time when we went camping. Okay. So you can see in here, it's really big. You can stand up uh, and change in here. We got an air mattress we're gonna blow up. Yeah. So it gives you an idea uh, how big it is. This is a queen size mattress. There's still all this space around. There's still all that space over there. We have a hand pump, uh, but that takes forever. So we also have um, one of these little uh, electrical um, pumps uh, from Coleman, 4D batteries is what it takes. Uh, so really quick and easy to pump it up and it also deflates it as well. So that's not So Arcadia wants me to get toys and blankets we really like this one. So we're just gonna get some firewood. Like I said, it 
rained a little bit and you can kind of see where the tent was earlier uh, but it's not raining anymore so one of the main reasons I like camping in the backyard especially if you buy like new equipment you always get really excited and you want to set it up and you want to see how it goes or at least I do so um, setting it up in the backyard is just a fun way to set things up see how they work and it also gives you an idea of like what you might need but you're like right next to the house in case you're like oh okay I didn't bring this and you can kind of keep track say okay when we camp we know we're gonna need X Y and Z you get my point so anyways so we're just doing this for fun. <laughs> you trying to talk, Elsa? You trying to talk? Oh, get you some blankies. So I love this little rocker chair. It's so portable. So we have Elsa out here in the tent with us. <laughs> um, she's got her blankie. <laughs> we're just waiting for my husband to get home with the firewood. Hey, right, Daddy made it to the party! To the camping party! Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Well, at least Daddy. <laughs> Alright, we got the fire going. Where's Dad? You can't really uh, <laughs> see. And then there's Arcadia. And the doggies. Wandering up. We just put the baby back inside in the crib to take a little nap and we got some marshmallows in the bag 